Bloomington leaders are facing some new pushback over changes to its farmer's market. After shutting it down the last two weekends for safety concerns, the city of Bloomington is finally reopening on Saturday, but not everyone there is happy with how it's happening. Our own Kevin Rader shares the one thing these vendors say they want to see from the city. Susan Wellsand is respectfully known in Bloomington as the chili woman. This is my home away from home. It's good to have some peace and quiet, something that she hasn't had much of lately at the Bloomington Farmer's Market. I'm going to go back downtown. I'm not happy about it. And I'm also the vendor next to Schooner Creek Farm. So um, I'm particularly unhappy to return to that toxic atmosphere. After over 25 years of setting up shop at the market, she and other vendors like her feel as though they're not being included in working on a solution. Those vendors' voices needed to be heard, and I still feel they haven't been. For the past two weeks, after the mayor issued a two-week suspension, the market has been held on the city's east side. One thing I really appreciate about the east side market this past week was having um, people bring their children back to market again. If I had a child, I would not bring it to market. You wouldn't? No. Not at, not at this time. But now, after two weeks, the farmer's market is coming back home here in Bloomington. Here to Showers Commons. But there are some big differences, like the cameras that you see placed around the parking lot. I'm surprised there weren't cameras before. I just thought they were, and we couldn't see them. But for now, she's resigned herself to go back because she believes the vendors need to stand together. The thing that really bothers me is um, the three percenters said they would be back. And I don't know if two weeks they got distracted by something else, if they're still going to do that. Um, but it's a concern. We'll find out Saturday morning from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. In Bloomington, Kevin Rader, Channel 13, Eyewitness News. Kevin, thanks so much. Well, now